When I was a kid, my parents bought me these little jitterbug toys. They're very simple. They have a motor with an offset weight, so as it spins it vibrates, and as it vibrates, the shape of its legs pushes it forward. Its chaotic jittering makes it seem almost alive. One experiment I did as a kid was to set the bugs running in a circular pen. After watching them for a while, I added a small ball. The little bugs seem to fight over the ball. They each seem to want to be the one to push it round and round the pen, even more so in the tray I used when I was a kid. And this is one of the things that has continued to fascinate me about chaotic systems, that in a chaotic system, in chaos theory, very complex behaviours can arise from very simple systems. A recent paper from some researchers in France made me think back to these toys I played with as a kid. These researchers put dozens of these little jitterbugs in a circular pen, and they found some very interesting behaviour. If there's only a small number of bugs in the pen, they behave like a gas, skittering off each other and bouncing off the walls randomly. But if the density of bugs is high enough, they start to cluster together near the edges of the container. This is because each bug is preventing the one next to it from moving away from the pack. The really interesting thing is what the researchers did next. They wondered, instead of using a solid pen, what would happen if you used a pen with flexible walls? In their case, a ring of paper. They found that when the bugs start to cluster, they stretch and deform the pen. And if one cluster of bugs has more than the other, they start to move the pen along the ground. But it gets even more interesting. Because of the flexible nature of the bugs and the pen, the bugs can push the pen through small openings. To me, this is very reminiscent of an amoeba moving through its environment. I just find it fascinating how a system that starts with such simple actions can lead on to such complex behaviours. And the experiments these researchers have performed and the mathematical models they've developed to describe the motion of the bugs and the way their pen deforms has uses in robotics in creating hypermobile robots that can move through tricky terrain or in soft robotics. It just makes you wonder what other scientific experiments and technological applications are hiding in simple children's toys.